guys and welcome back to my channel i'm finally back home well not for too long because i have to pack up basically 25 years of my life and take it to perth because i'm moving to perth in the next month or two i've just come home to basically pack all of my stuff i've been away for five weeks i've been to bali and then i was in perth for three weeks and have accumulated all of this um, so last night I tried to make my little unboxing easier by just ripping like open some of the boxes So all I have to do is just um, Open the boxes. I don't have to use knives or scissors So I don't have to give you guys anxiety with my knife and scissors and it actually gives me anxiety watching me open Some of the packaging when I'm editing. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna like chop off my finger So I've done all that last night carefully so i'm going to go through and show you guys what i got um my laundry door's open and i'm closing it okay so start off with this one first one napoleon purtis i thought they like went out of business or am i just tripping or color disc and an autopilot longwear eye primer yeah, for some reason I thought Napoleon didn't exist or was closing down or maybe that was just a rumor, who knows. Um, but yeah, thanks so much Napoleon for sending that over. Next, this is so much easier. Ooh, Stevia Organic. That's a bit random. Oh shit, maybe I do need the scissors because I didn't realize there may be boxes in boxes. Oh... Uh, yeah, I definitely need scissors. <sighs> Be right back. I've never actually tried this brand of Stevia before, I don't think. Unless they are new. Oh, uh, actually, have I? I think I've seen this at Coles or Woolies, but basically it's by the brand called Sugarless Stevia. Um, I only have Stevia because Stevia is the natural sweetener as opposed to like the... Um, Sorry, what's the other ones called? Like Equal and there's like a yellow one. Um, they've got like artificial sweeteners like maltitol or multidextrin. I, when I'm using sweeteners, I only use stevia because it's all natural. So I'm super keen to try that. And I think I actually am running low. So that came at a good time. So thank you so much. They sent me their, um, the sticks as well, which is great for traveling. And then, oh, this is also great for traveling. Just a little um, handy tablet form. So thank you so much for sending that over. These are by Sugarless. And yes, I'm pretty sure you can get that from, I've either seen it at IJ or Woolworths, but I've definitely seen that brand um, somewhere. Oh, Key Australia. It was actually so hard for me not to peep into the boxes last night when I was unboxing. Like, obviously, like, stuff like this I can tell just from um, the outside of the box. But I was so tempted to, like, open this last night. But I was like, no, I'm going to wait. This says DXD, um, which I'm not sure. Are they? Oh, these are Desi's frames. Freaking love Desi Perkins. She's definitely one of my favorite US influencers. These are really cute. Oh my god. Love that style so much. I've got like 5,000 billion cases, I swear to god. And then these are her blue light lens. I think they're in the same style as Don't At Me, which I have. They're so cute. I think she's got them in white as well. I love those. Thanks so much, Key. Right. Next is Colourpop Cosmetics. I think I might keep some of this bubble wrap for when I'm um, packing my stuff. That's actually a good idea. This is their Whatever Collection. Press powder, palette, a BFF bundle and the blushes. I'm not going to show you otherwise this video will go on for ages. Woo! But they've sent me their whole entire collection. So thank you so much, Colourpop, for sending that over. I'm going to have to open a bigger box so I can put my stuff in. Maybe we'll go with this one. 
Ooh, velvet caviar. Might keep that one over there. So Velvet Caviar is a phone case company. Cute. Wait. Chuck that in the bin here. So these are the iPhone X Max. Wait, 10 X Max cases, which unfortunately won't fit my phone very soon, but I guess I can stick them on my work phone because I just ordered the new iPhone Pro 11 Max. So these won't fit, but thank you guys so much. They're really cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick them on my um, phone. On my well, now I'm gonna convert my phone into my work phone. Thank you so much. Well, oh, that's really cute. That little pop socket. It's like iridescent. I've got my little before you speak coffee here. I honestly don't think I could go a morning without it. It is so good. Okay, next. Fenty Beauty, the new liquid diamond bomb highlighter. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Not sure if you can see it. Oh my God, please don't mind my nails. Oh, that is so gross. <laughs> Getting them done next week, guys. And a little brush that it came with. I might zoom you guys in I'm a bit far. That's a bit better. That's really cute, it's like mini. <laughs> oh, this one's quite heavy. Morphe, I think this is to celebrate. Yeah, it's to celebrate Morphe in Mecca. So you've probably seen all over Instagram. Morphe now stocks um, in Mecca stores in Australia. So exciting. They sent me their 3502 palette, which I actually haven't got. I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that is so pretty. I might take it into the salon um, this weekend and play around. Have they like upgraded their packaging? Because I swear it wasn't like this before. It's really, really nice. They've sent me a blender, like a beauty blender, and then a couple of their brushes. And my favorite setting, actually, I didn't even spray my face this morning. Best setting spray ever. I'm going <coughs> to, I just inhaled that. I'm gonna take this into the salon um, because I don't have that in my kit yet. I highly recommend that setting spray. It is amazing, like literally incredible. I might keep some of these boxes in case I want to do another makeup giveaway. Actually, I will keep these boxes. Recycle. Next, I think this one's from Huda Beauty because it's always in this Star Trek. Yes. Oh my God, her packaging is so cool bit of a waste but I'll use that for my packing how extra is this like what how the oh okay oh her new liner yes I've always wanted to try this since she released it so she's come out with some more lashes I love doing this and a makeup remover balm. Thank you so much, Huda Beauty. I'm so excited to try that eyeliner. It's like a matte finish packaging. It feels so nice. Ooh. Extend has sent me their new Keto BHB supplement. 20 calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, 20 servings. Has anyone tried this? Let me know in the comments. Um, Ultimate Ketogenic Recovery Sports Supplement. Gonna have to give that a go. Thank you guys so much. Before you speak, I fucking, like literally, as I said before, I cannot go a morning without Before You Speak. They sent me a little pop socket, which is super cute. Some more of my favorite creamer. My favorite is definitely chocolate. I'm such a chocolate person. I love the Before You Speak caramel with almond milk cold, not hot. So I'll only have the caramel one with almond milk, but I love the new Mocha Glow, which I have hot with a scoop of the chocolate. So it's like extra chocolatey. It doesn't even taste, I mean, it does taste like coffee, but it tastes more of a mocha. It's that freaking good. Like I could not rave about it enough. You guys need to try it if you haven't already. Seriously, it is amazing. It's a bit fancy. Okay, that was a bit unnecessary, not gonna lie. 
I've never tried velour lashes in my life, but I've always heard great things about them. And they just sent me so many styles to try and I'm actually so glad because for once in my life, I don't have lash extensions and I don't think I'm getting them for another few weeks. So I just want to give my lashes a bit of a break. So that's the perfect timing to try some amazing lashes. I've heard, as I said, really good things about these lashes. So I might actually keep them in the box because that looks really cute. Damn it, I was going to do a TikTok. By the way, I've been so obsessed with TikTok late lately. My username's just Jazz Hand if you want to jump on um, the TikTok bandwagon. But I was going to do like a before and after unboxing all of this, but I forgot. Should I do it now? Maybe I will. <laughs> all right, did my little TikTok. Let's open the next one. What's this? Oh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's really cute. They've just come out with some loose highlighters. Not sure how well you can see it. Whoa, that's so pretty. Oh, wow. That is so nice. I may even have to take some of those to the salon. What colors are they? Sand on mute, peachy, beaming, and um, some of Ibs of Gloss. They are the prettiest nudes. Wow. Um, what else is in here? A loose glitter kit. Far out. I swear Anastasia brings out something every week. How amazing do they look? How cute is the packaging? I want to keep the packaging for those. Oh my god, I didn't realize those came. Do those come with a Kali palette? Oh my god, they do. Okay, so this is their holiday collection and they actually collaborated with Kali Bible. I have watched her since she started her YouTube channel years ago. She was like one of my OGs along with like Shan XO, Nikki Tutorials, Desi. Like I used to watch those. YouTubers when I was in school I remember like grade 8 and grade 9 and I used to watch her religiously I absolutely loved her videos still love them now and still watch them and she just did a collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills oh my god this packaging though I'm definitely keeping that because it's pink <laughs> so she came out with a palette she's more of like a um cool toned type of gal when it comes to eyeshadows and I feel like this palette sums her up so well look at the colors is it in focus wow that is absolutely amazing i'm definitely gonna have to do a tutorial on this wow i'm so excited to try that thank you so much anastasia beverly hills oh my god so excited to try that palette and those pigments all right this one is from mecca Oh my god look what's in here there's some lipstick queen lipsticks holy okay it's all lipstick queen i think yes lipstick queen everything lip balms lips whoa there's so much stuff in here i might just show you the pamphlet so you can see what's in the box thank you so much i actually to be honest haven't really tried that much of this brand before but i'm super keen to all right let's just put them all aside there are so many lip products in here i've also decided that when i move obviously i'm not gonna i can't physically bring all of my makeup just because that would be honestly impossible like i just have so much like i could literally run a store from my makeup room here um and obviously like i've swatched things and i probably won't ever get around to using them or i've got so many brand new stuff that i probably won't get around to using so i'm gonna um look up to see if there's any like uh gold coast women's shelters that i can drop off some like some of my clothes and stuff that i need to be decluttering before i leave to perth so i'll i need to buy a massive box or a tub and just put all of the makeup that I don't want to bring with me to Perth because I think that would be nice. Um, just to give back to, um, you know, women that can't really afford to buy makeup because makeup is so expensive these days and I would rather give it to someone that needs it than like throw it away or do nothing with it. So I'm definitely going to do that because I have gotten a few messages asking how the Fuck, I'm going to take all of my makeup over. I'm definitely not. Like, I'll definitely keep all of my favorites and 
pack them up with me all of my like newer stuff and just like um, palettes that I've been collecting for ages I will definitely um, take them yeah the stuff that I just don't see myself using in the next like six to twelve months I'll definitely put um, all together and take to a women's shelter um, next is oh yay perfect keto have sent me some stuff I do have a code for perfect keto they are an American website um, I personally like shopping from there rather than Australian retailers because I've just got more stuff. Um, I haven't been able to find my chocolate MCT oil anywhere else except for that website. Um, plus their bars are amazing. I actually love the almond butter bars. I've never tried the salted caramel ones, but I'm definitely going to have to try them. Um, or I'll leave all my discount codes down below, but I'm pretty sure it's just J-A-Z, Jazz, um, for Perfect Keto. So I got that. I got more of the MCT oil powder. I have got this one in salted caramel, but this one's in Perth. So I've got one for here and I'll probably take this one to Perth, obviously. And then, I can't remember what else I ordered. I think these are the, um, mm, the trail mixes. I can't actually remember what I ordered, so. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely and utterly honest. Um, regarding the new chocolate covered macadamias if you like the 90% lint chocolate you might like these personally I think these are too bitter for my liking I probably the only way I would have these is crushed in like a rocky road so I made a rocky road in Perth with the keto trail mix and it's so yum because it's got like Almonds, macadamias, cacao nibs. It's got some like toasted coconut. These are really good. The trail mixes, I would recommend to get these. Personally, I wouldn't eat them on their own. Like I might pick the nuts out, but it's just the chocolate is just so bitter. I definitely would prefer to get Vitaworks over this, but that's just my opinion. If you like bitter dark chocolate, then go for it. But just warning you, they are very bitter. Even more bitter than the 90% lint chocolate, in my opinion. But then I've seen online that some people love them. So, I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. But, yeah, I did. Um, they did send me these to my Perth address. And must have just sent it to my Queensland address as well. But I love the trail mix. If you want to try the trail mix, 100%. Definitely... MCT oil powder, can't live without it, and their bars are freaking incredible. But just not so much a fan of the chocolate covered almonds, but that's all right. Okay, so this next package is from Tiara Vita. Hi, Jazz, can't wait to see how you use the. Can't wait to see how you choose to reuse with your. Tiara Vita eco-friendly reusable Ziploc bags. That is really cool. Um, I've been trying my hardest to reduce the amount of plastic that I use, like even just like Ziploc bags and freezer bags. So this is great. Oh, how cool. So it's literally just like a silicon reusable Ziploc bag that you can put like chocolates, treats or whatever. Well, oh, that's actually really cool. And it zips up and seals really well. So they gave me the big one, the medium, and then the small. How cute. Thank you so much. That brand was called Tierra Vida. Let's see if you can see that. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much. They will definitely be used. I think this is their new product. Oh, no. It's just a top up. They do have a new product. I think they've got the Aero Liquid Gold now that I saw on their Instagram. But this is literally my all-time favorite tan. Aero Tan by Bondi Sands. It's super dark and I just love it. I love the tan eraser as well. So good. And then they've given me another bit. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to be reusing that bubble wrap. Oh my god, I forgot about my coffee. Oh, what? I swear I have this palette. Oh, am I tripping balls? Unless it's a different version. Okay, maybe I have the purple one. That's what I'm thinking of. The Norvina palette. These are massive and they're super heavy as well. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, that's so cool. 
so different to what I've seen in the past, like with Anastasia palettes. It's very colorful. I'm liking it. I think I'm going to take that one into the salon as well. I'm like, that was all my new stuff. Take it to the salon. Oh, this one's heavy. Okay, so mum opened a few Anastasia packages while I was away. So these are two new um, loose highlighters. Super pretty. I just love the packaging all of this comes in. Super luxe. What is this? I didn't even open it last night. Ah, oh, it's the Too Faced Lip Injection. Oh my God, let's put it on. I literally just got my lips done in Perth um, not that long ago. So they're still a bit tender. Let's see if it actually works. I've never really been into um, lip, like lip injection glosses. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's tingling. Okay, I'm scared. Um, and then Anastasia also has come out with a liquid liner, which is super cool. So I'll have to try both that one and the Huda one. I think I just ate the, the gloss. Um, this one I haven't opened. Endless Adventures Await. Oh, whoa. Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> Ma, oh my God, it's got my name on it. M Wait, what? I don't usually get scent perfume, but um, Michael Kors has sent me their new Wonderlust perfume. That is like really cool. Let's give it a smell. That's really cool that my name's on it. Can you see that? You probably can't. Oh, there. That's actually really nice. And what about this one? Sublime. My lips are fucking hurting. I like the other one better. It's more of a florally. This one's more like musky. It reminds me of a guy's fragrance. But I kind of like that. Thank you so much, Michael Kors. I feel like I don't want to throw this out because it's really cute. Yeah, I'm not going to throw it out. That would be such a waste. What's in this one? I didn't even know this one was a package. I thought I'd reopened it. Be Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. So give me a little pop socket as well. What's this? Makeup and tanning headband. That's cool. Um, and then their eye primer. Super keen to try that out. Um... I love their palettes, Be Perfect Cosmetics. They've just collabed with Jar Makeup Artist, and I'm super excited to get my hands on that palette. Okay, next one is from Nutra Bolt. My lips are caning. Shit, that actually did work. Look how big my lips look. Here for it. What the hell is this? Sorry. Oh. bag nah i can't but like that is cool but like is it wearable <sighs> oh, it's, you know they're always so extra with their pr oh my god another one <laughs> i'm pissing myself <laughs> they're literal backpacks like do i carry my makeup in there or Alright, they're stuck in here. There's two boxes of stuff. The reveal. Ooh. That's really pretty. Some new pigments. And there's like a loose, like, star pigment slash glitter thing. Would be good for festivals, I reckon. All right, let's take this out of the packaging. Actually, no, I'll keep it in the packaging. Um, and then there's this one. Ooh, another one. I didn't know that she did three palettes. Mm, it's like more bluey. Sorry. It's more of like a bluey 
color. Cool. That's really cool that um, she can collab with her daughter. It's really cute, actually. Thank you so much, Anastasia. You spoiled me this time around. I got so many parcels from you guys. <laughs> Catch her on the street wearing one of these. Um, that's it. That's all I got um, in my P.O. box. I want you guys to see my lips. Oh, my God. They were not this big before. Trust me. That's not bad. I might use that. It's just like a little bit uncomfortable and it's still kind of stingy, even though I put it on like five minutes ago. But yeah, there you have it. That is my five weeks worth of P.O. Box mail. I think I, like, I actually really like filming these kinds of videos because it's like exciting for me, also exciting for you guys. But then I would rather like accumulate mail like this i know it's hard when like i get new mail because i just want to open it straight away and it's easier when i'm away because like i'm not home to open it but i think i might try and do this more often even if i am home i'll just accumulate like a couple weeks worth of po box and just make a whole video about it because you guys seem to like me unboxing my stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and let me know if you want to see more unboxing videos on my channel and i will see you in my next video bye